O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, whose Son at his ascension to the heavens was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, Grant, we pray, that just as they received manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us, too, you may bestow spiritual gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and, with ardent spirit, spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King of all the earth. For the King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham, for gods are the guardians of the earth. His, he is supreme. Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have come to believe that I came from God. 
I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, in our first reading, we learn about how the Old Testament points to the reality that Jesus is the Christ. And as the Acts of the Apostles says, that the Christ is Jesus. We find today that a Jew named Apollos, trained within the Holy Scriptures, comes to uh, this revelation and this knowledge and the reality of who Jesus Christ is. He's kind of like a theological Sherlock Holmes. He sees that through all the teachings of the Old Testament, through the Torah, uh, the Pentateuch, the first five books, and through the writings of the prophets, that everything that Jesus did was foretold in times old. And so this leads to his conversion. And one of the great blessings that happens is that we see that his conversion is incomplete, that he only knows of the baptism of John, which is only a baptism of repentance. It does not give you grace. It does not wash away original sin. It does not incorporate you into the mystical body of God and therefore does not give you and make you an adopted child of God. And so what happens? Two people of the church, a husband and wife, two lay persons, Priscilla and Aquila, they seek him out and say, you're pretty accurate about your teaching on the Lord, but you're missing some of the key details. You know, you're not 100% there yet. And they not only help guide him, but they send them to those who can teach him more perfectly and who can baptize him in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and by the laying on of their hands be given the Holy Spirit. And so it's through this great narrative that we see that the Jew named Apollos comes to the fullness of belief, comes to the fullness of faith, and most specifically, comes into the fullness of the church. Many of those who may be watching today are amongst our RCIA students whose baptism and or confirmation has been delayed. I encourage you to invoke Apollos and to ask him to intercede on your behalf, to give you the fortitude necessary so that you too may receive the baptism of life, of regeneration, of rebirth into our Lord Jesus Christ, and that for those of you who have already been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, that you may receive the laying on of hands, the anointing of Holy Chrism, and the full and perfect reception of the Holy Spirit. In the case of those being confirmed, uh, it's more of a strengthening of the Holy Spirit within you. Let us look to the saints of old who got through many challenges in order to ask their intercession that we in our own challenges and the obstacles in which we face, that we too may follow Christ faithfully as they did. After all, they are our brothers and sisters in the household of God. And as anyone who has a brother or sister knows, parents expect siblings to help one another. And so does God our Father. May the saints of old pray for us that where they have gone, we may follow. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously signify these gifts, Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Bless the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man. Judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. Dominus Deo Sabaot, Pleni Sunceli et Terra Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus qui venite nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection 
you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for all our justification. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed <laughs> thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, in all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. St. John the Evangelist, pray for us.